Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's episode, we'll be discussing how you can create partial fillets and chamfers using the new updated features in SOLIDWORKS 2019. In previous versions, creating split lines and other additional steps were required in order to create partial fillets and chamfers. However, this has all changed in 2019 with an updated chamfer and fillet options and now you can define your location and region of where you want to create those partial fillets and chamfers on. So let's take a look at this scenario where we have a grip handle. And if I take a closer look at the inside, I'll see here that there is a small interference between this housing as well as the shaft. So we'll confirm that with a quick interference detection. And we see here that there's a small portion along both components where we have the interference between the two. Now to resolve this, I can make use of the partial chamfer tool to create a cutout only along that small portion to alleviate the interference. So let's go ahead and edit this part. I'll select this edge here and use the chamfer option. And then I will create an asymmetric feature where the length will be two millimeters, the height is one millimeter. And you see here now we have this new option for partial edge parameters. And if we check this box here, this will allow us to edit the region along the edge where we want to define our chamfer on. So you see here that there are two dots that have appeared, one at the top and one at the bottom of our edge. And we can use those to define the section along the edge that we want to have our chamfer on. So I can drag and drop this to a location that I want. Go over here. So I can define my region that way or I can specify a blind length. So in this case, let's say 20 and 26. So now that I've defined my region, I see a little preview of the chamfer that will be created and anything outside of that region remains as it is. So as soon as I go to create the feature, you see here that the feature was created. And if I just hide that for visibility, you'll see that it's only been created along the area that we specified. The exact same goes for any sort of partial fillets that we want to create. So let's say we wanted to create a fillet along this edge here, set that to one millimeter. And if we select partial edge parameters, those two dots appear again. And I can define my region as such. And there we have a small fillet along a specified location of our edge. So that's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one.